Aegis is the primary multi-mission combat system that's found on the U.S. Navy surface combatant fleet. Uh, it's also not only on the U.S. Navy, but it's found on five allied nations. Uh, there's 107 Aegis ships in the world today. So Aegis has been constantly evolved since its inception in the early 1980s. Uh, so 40 years of uh, constant investment by the U.S. Navy to ensure that it paces the threat. The latest baseline is Baseline 9, which is true, a single computer program that does integrated air and missile defense, which in uh, basic terms means air defense and ballistic missile defense. Yeah, in the Aegis weapon system, it, it's generally quantified as a total system. So it includes the launcher, it includes the sensor, and the combat system information that that fuses the data from the sensor to the weapon and various weapon systems. And it may be multi-mission air defense, anti-submarine warfare, strike, it's the myriad of capabilities and also electronic warfare. So it, it's a very broad capability that goes from detect to control to engage. We at Lockheed Martin are very proud of the Aegis heritage and it is with five nations. The newest nation to join the Aegis circle is Australia. Uh, with the air warfare destroyers. Uh, the Hobart's been to sea and will undergo testing this year, or this coming year. Uh, we're very proud of it. Uh, initial uh, looks at the Aegis weapon system perfor performance is outstanding. Uh, we just completed taking our first 20 Australian sailors to Morristown, New Jersey and uh, going through a very in-depth training with them. We're all excited about that. Uh, and I think uh, they're gonna really like the system when they get it and have a chance to operate it.